It's not uncommon for us to receive mailers promising student loan consolidation or mortgage management services. As we found, these mailers often contain official looking seals or logos, but they don't necessarily have any affiliation to that government agency or organization. I just went out and pulled it out and I make sure I read you know, each piece just to make sure that it's if it's something important or not. When Kevin Curry took a closer look at this mailer delivered to his home, he believes it's misleading and here's why. What bothered me about this was that it, it is deliberately designed to look like it comes from the county or an official government office. It has the disclaimer, of course, but it's in little tiny font. Fraud experts say while these tactics may appear misleading to some, it's not necessarily illegal. Now what makes these legal is two things. One, they have to notify you that they're not affiliated with the government. And two, they have to actually have an opt out. But here's the trick. A lot of times if you look at the back of this document, this is filled with thousands of words of fine print text and sometimes it's buried in here. Bottom line, if you believe you're receiving misleading mailers, Colorado's Attorney General wants you to report it. We discovered lawmakers are currently working to iron out new legislation in our state to better protect consumers and our information to defend against potentially misleading marketing tactics. So we're working on regulations over the next year to protect consumer privacy. During that time, we want consumers to tell us what matters to you. Remember, if you ever have a question about something that comes in the mail or a call or a text you get, you can always reach out to us here at News 5 for help. And if we don't know the answers, we'll try to find out. To contact the Attorney General, I posted those resources on our website, koaa.com. I'm Patrick Nelson for News 5.